Hi, I'm Anthony Del Mar, owner of Hobbies and Airsoft, Springfield, New Jersey. Well, I think it, it, water is going to damage here, so if we to a point where we won't exist anymore. Um, you know, our, our great governor of the state of New Jersey, who I voted for, you know, he's out now promoting for a small business to grow in New Jersey. Um, and this is an important factor in New Jersey. You know, I think the airsoft stores serve more than a purpose than uh, just selling airsofts. You know, we educate. We're out here, we're teaching children gun safety, we're promoting, you know, activities outside, we're getting families together, group activities. It, it, it's more than just selling an airsoft gun to, you know, someone and say, okay, here you go. There's a lot behind the sale, you know, and, and I think that all needs to be taken to effect. Yeah, in, in talking to a lot of the officers, I'm on the understanding that when they go through training, they're trained to look for specific things. They're not trained to look for pink guns, they're not trained to look for orange guns. And, and I think by painting these guns orange, pink, and green, it's only going to allow the element, the bad element, to you know, start painting that. And that's more of a risk for our children than what we have now. I mean, now we can do gun safety, we can say, you know, don't remove the orange tip, and we can teach them proper safety, but you know, it's the unknown factor. If you're a police officer and now you don't know if that pink gun is real or not, it, it's something to be, it, it's something really to be scared about, and it's something that you know Congress and Senate need to really take an effect because it's it's more harm than good. It's very threatening. It's a, and it's a real it's a real fact. Um, you know, it, it's all right. It's it's something that. It's enjoyment, it, it's fun, it's how I feed my family, it's how a lot of little businesses feed their family. You know, and now, you know, you're telling me that it, it's possible that I might lose my job. I'm hoping it goes away. You know, I, I'm hoping that it doesn't become a stick in the mud type deal. You know, it, it, it's based on training. A proper airsoft store should take the proper time to sell the item and go through a basic training. Um, one of the things that we're working on now is we're, we're in contact with the training officer with the Springfield Police Department. They actually have a shooting range at a quarry around here and we're trying to get maybe one night a month that we can actually get an officer to come out to do a training you know, seminar that the kids can come, they can shoot and we'll have an authority figure. Uh, February 27th we're doing something with the Boy Scouts across the street. Um, you know. It's important, you know, that you teach and you train and you make people aware. It gets them off the couch. You figure the average kid comes home after school, three, four hours of video games, um, which is no exercise, no awareness, no fresh air. Uh, First Lady Michelle Obama, she's on our campaign right now to support our children and get them outside to bring families together to exercise. And there's no better way to exercise than climbing a 150 acre field up and down hills and mountains, getting fresh air. You know, it, it's kids will be kids and we, we gotta really let them be kids. Yeah, um, actually I do. There's a real big event happening at Zulu 24 on February 19th. It's called Goliath's Fall. It's a solidarity event. Um, it's a show of support for our sport. Um, you know, the more that turn out, the better it is. I believe there's going to be some food up there. Gonna, we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, and I'm hoping a lot of people come out for it. It's real easy. Say no to SA-10 and SA-11. It's important. It's all right. Let's stick together. It's our game.